Emmeline from Wisdom Preserve. Today I am not at my house and this is not my oven, it is my aunt's, but I am here to show you a new way to clean your oven. Today's supplies are going to be pretty simple. We're going to be using Dawn Power Wash, some cling wrap, a scrubby, and some gloves. So let's show you what we're getting into here. I'm gonna open this up and we're going to see that here we have some a greasy front. We've got some racks with some grease on them, some grease on the sides and back and a little bit there in the bottom. This is what I would consider an average uh, dirty oven. You know, this is just kind of ready for a clean. It hasn't been so long that it's a disaster, but by is no means ready to stop and skip it right now. So let's get started. I'm going to begin by putting on my gloves and removing the racks from the oven. Then I'm going to heat up the oven to a pro I'm going to just put it on its lowest setting and give it just a couple of minutes to heat up. What that's going to do is just going to activate the grease and tell it, look, it's time to loosen up a little bit. Okay, this oven's lowest setting is 170 degrees. We have that set, it is starting to preheat. We're just going to give it a minute or two as we talk about what we're going to do. I have never cleaned an oven using Dawn Power Wash. However, I we have the oven cleaning video that Marie and I did that's been so popular using the baking soda, vinegar, and uh, Dawn paste that you put on and then clean off. However, I just had some comments from a wonderful subscriber who said that that one didn't work for her and that some others have said it takes too long, it's too hard, etc. So I'm coming up with a new way to clean the oven and right now this Dawn Power Wash is all the rage. Everybody's talking about how great it is at cutting grease. Well, what's the oven if it isn't grease? So today what we're going to do is we're going to try this. Now, most it says you don't need to heat anything up however my experience with ovens is is if they're a little bit warm and that grease is loosened it's just going to work better and faster and i'm all for better and faster so we're just going to give this um just a couple of minutes and then we'll get started okay the oven's heated up i didn't let it go all the way to 170 degrees i just wanted it warm you want to be able to touch the surfaces um but not have it be too hot so this is a little warm um but by the time i'm done and ready to put the saran wrap on it will be perfect so what we're going to do is dawn power wash just has this nozzle see how it just kind of sprays as you do that and so we're going to spray down all the surfaces. You can look at it running already. Look at that. It's already running right off. <laughs> that makes me happy. I don't know about you. Then we're going to cover the whole bottom. You can see how it's pretty warm still. I want it to cool just a little bit because we want it to stay liquidy. We don't want it to completely dry on there and bake on. So that bottom is a little hotter than I would want, but this top part is perfect. Okay, we're filling this back. And you've seen from the previous videos how much I like Dawn. <laughs> so I'm excited to have another use for Dawn. So now we want to get the door and the glass nice and coated. Yes, I'm using a lot here. I've used probably a fourth of my bottle already, but I don't care. Look at all of this stuff running off of here. My 
my aunt is going to be so excited by how clean her oven is. Okay, next, we want to line and cover this because as you can see, the Dawn is just running right off of there. We want it to set in place a little bit longer. So we're just going to line it. Oops, I have a ripped corner. Just gonna kind of line this and let it stay in place. So it looks like about two is good there. Go back to my cutter here. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. We want it to kind of stick on the outside. Now this shouldn't be so hot that you're melting, which we're not, so that's good. You can see how that kind of stopped this from dripping down and it's keeping it. And I'm letting it come out the edge a little bit because that will be a nice grab hold later. When we, once we close this up and let it set for a few minutes and then come back, those will just peel right off. Even if I get them messed up a little. Okay, so there's those. I'm gonna come to the other side so I can reach across. Now we're going to let this set about 30 minutes while I clean the racks or get the racks started. But as you can see, we could probably go to town cleaning this oven right now and not have any complications with this stuff coming off of here. This is just gonna help this activate on here. Okay, sticking to my glove. And two more, we're gonna put one along the back at the upper part where this larger amount of grease is. Uh, stick that on there and then the low I'm going to spray this lower part one more time and that upper part. Okay. Now see how that just kind of sticks on there and keeps that from from um, soaking down the wall. Now I'm just gonna do one more time, covering up this bottom. Then we're gonna close this up and give it 20 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes, just however long you think you need. All right, it is the moment of truth. We are opening the oven. It's only been about 20 minutes or so, but I don't, I just don't think it's going to take that long because you can like see this coming off already. So we just need to wad up our stuff here. Oh, look at it just roll right off. Okay. I'm going to set that. Oh, it's, yeah, it's dripping grease. So throw it away right away. Okay, now I have just a scrubby here and we're going to just see what this takes. It's just coming right <laughs> that it really is coming off easily. The door might need a little extra scrubbing, but the back is actually coming off easier and better. I don't love this scrub brush. I'm gonna actually grab something else. I, these are new to me and I don't really like it. I figured
figured that out earlier in the day, but I still brought them over here. This is just an SOS pad. It cleans really nice and easily. Now this oven door is really caked on here. If we had a razor blade, that would really help. But you can see I am getting it off here. Just that power wash is good enough to take it off. Obviously, the longer you let it set, the, the easier it is that it's going to be to come off. You can see this just coming right off of here. We use this to wipe some of this up and show you. See that difference right there? There and there, where I scrubbed and where I haven't. Now, there is a lot of soap. I mean, we just <laughs> sprayed this whole thing down with Dawn dish soap really, really hard. And so there is a lot of soap in here. is pretty amazing but there is soap like you can't believe in here so I'm actually going to take a dry cloth because the dry cloth will get off more even though it's not done yet scrubbing it the dry cloth will pull off a lot of that soap another idea for this if you if you have like some used dryer sheets that, you know, are no longer going through the dryer, you can grab them and use them. Just look at all of this coming off of there. It's fantastic. whole back of that oven where all of that grease it was. It's completely clean right now. All of the sides are completely clean. You can see it here. Now there's just a few spots remaining that I'd like to get into. Now that I have the bulk of the soap actually off and I want to really work on this door a bit because even though it looks a lot better, it's not done yet by not nowhere close compared to the inside of the oven. The inside is looking fantastic. One of the things I like to use is a razor blade. You can see, you can just come in here and scrape away at these little sections that are having, you know, being tough and stubborn to come off. And you can see how those just kind of flake right off of there. See that coming off? So this part I'm going to actually scrub a little bit more. Look at that, that's great. 
Great. Okay. Scoop that out. Come on. Come down here. Okay, the oven looks amazing. We're going to actually work on the door just a little bit more. This outside here, you can see how this is just wiping right up. Right along there, down in the crack. Don't forget the crack of the oven. It's the tricky part that a lot of people forget. Okay. And the top. I'm gonna take a sponge over it just one more time. Kind of rinse it out here. Make sure all, I know you make it look like, I'm making it look like we're getting it soapy again, but we just wanna make sure all of this is off of there. There's just a couple little spots there that I don't want to leave. Right here where the racks pull out. Must be a tricky spot. the inside. We've already removed it all. So it's just this door that remains. You can see a little bit of it up here. So let's do the same thing up here. Right here along the front. Oh, that one would have wiped up. If I get my towel down in there far enough. Now this is just a finishing detail. You know, these little splatters Plenty of people think, oh, their oven's still clean enough even with those. I just like to go that little extra bit so that that doesn't build up into the point where eventually I can't get that off. This one right here just brought up whole chunks. This has been on here for quite a while, this part. We're just getting it off of here so that it looks really nice and clean. right along the glass there and look at all that, that that just brought up okay so one last wipe down and some of this is on the inside is on the um in between the glass so we would need to run up through it i'm not sure how this stove works let's see here we can get up underneath right there and run some surface uh, cleaners in there, but that's a different video. We'll do that another time. But for now, you can see just how beautifully clean this oven is. It created a beautifully clean oven. So when you try this, let me know in the comments down below how it works for you. And for my wonderful subscriber who commented and contacted me on Facebook and said that the other oven video that I did didn't work for you for cutting the grease well enough, try this because this is amazing. And maybe if you really have a stubborn oven, let it sit for about an hour instead of just 15 minutes. All right, our oven is clean and so are our racks. It is time to put these back and see how they look. Let's see. 
I think they go this way. That one looks beautiful in there. Nice and clean. And now this one as well. And you can see that we have a lovely clean oven with beautifully clean racks. And so if you missed the rack tutorial for the oven, go ahead and check it out. And if you're watching this on the oven video, then go ahead and click over to watch our uh, how to clean the oven racks uh, without going into the bathroom. And in the meantime, if you're enjoying these cleaning videos that we're making for you, that I'm making, go ahead and click the subscribe button, ding the bell so that you're notified the next time we post a video. And make sure that if this was helpful to you, that you leave a comment and click the like button. Thanks. Bye.